Hey guys, this from Fault Kid. And yep, that's right. Welcome to a Q and a, Q and a video. So, and yep, it's crazy. I know it's, um, I haven't made a Q and a video for two years, believe it or not. I haven't made a second one. Yeah, I, I, back in 2021, I made a second Q and a video and um, I meant to do it last year, but apparently I just didn't have time to do it. So, but thankfully this year or today, right now, I'm, I finally do a third Q and A. So, yep. So I'm really apologize about that though, especially being late of make, making these kind of videos or making a Q and A video. Another one, another one. I mean, but um, it's crazy. I only made like two Q and A videos. So now there's gonna be a third one, thankfully. So this time we got we got about four, which is not much though. Which but it's better than nothing. So but. Even though it's only about four questions, but, or, I mean, four comments, but so what, you know. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we got two from my last Q&A video, and there's also two questions from my, oh, excuse me, from my, um, my, uh, my, Q, my Q&A committee post on it, so. Yep. Without further, f further ado, let's get started, and I'll probably get started the, the uh, Get started from the one uh, of the one from my sick Q and A comment section. So let's get on into it. And we got the first, and we got the first person who is my really good friend, of mine, right to right to destiny. What's up, what's up, bud? He asked. Oh yeah, he's got four questions. So he asked, "What wolf movie is your top favorite?" Now, first off. Um, my my top my wolf my favorite wolf movie or something it used to be Alpha and Omega though for a reason because I've been liking the movie I mean as a kid through my you know through my um light youth though I remember back when it I've been liking it for many years now she I mean but I just stopped I just lost interest with the first movie though but I mean yeah I know I stopped liking it. I just started to hate the sequels now you know because. Now, by the time I, I used to be a big fan of this franchise, though, up until, you know, around 2018, I'm still, like, the, the year 2018, I'm still a fan, but, uh, like, there was, like, about one or two of the sequels I used to like, though, but, but now in days, in tw oh, but now in 2021, I stopped liking the sequels. Now, I realize they're just crap now, so, the first one I just kind of lost interest with, though, but that, that don't mean it's a bad movie, though, but. It's not good or bad though, but I'll say it was just a decent guilty pleasure movie. So, for me, yeah, in my childhood. So, I mean, I remember, I remember it was good at the time when it first came out though. Yeah, I was I was only eleven years old when I was fifth grade when it this movie came out. And then, and then up until like in around January when the movie came out on DVD, that's how I first watched it. I, but um, yeah, I just didn't really saw it in the theater though. I didn't say it though, but I, that's not really true. So I just saw it. I just watched it on DVD and wait on. I just waited to watch it on DVD instead. So since we used to have one of those, we have we used to have a local video store years ago now. But they just they just they just like stopped doing it. And they just be, made it to a different place though. But I mean, but I don't know. But it sucks. But still, well, it's still a great place. I will remember. But. Well, it's not Blockbuster, though. It's just a rental video store. I can't remember what, what, what it's called, but, you know. But anyway, my, let's just get, I'd probably say my, my favorite Wolf movie is probably Balto from 1995 with, um, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, I, I enjoyed Balto, though, especially, including the movie. Yeah, I mean, the second one was, uh, well, the second one was, it was oh it was a it was all right but um the third one I I actually kind of I kind of liked though I enjoyed the third one though despite some of the problems it has though but I still like the third one though but um but yeah um yeah I'll say that Balto is my favorite wolf movie it might maybe in my opinion but anyway let's get to the next question next question he asked is have you seen the movie Alpha. I yeah I have seen Alpha. It was it was a pretty good movie though. I like I like Alpha. Sorry sorry I have to pause the uh, pause the video because you know my dogs getting into something. But anyway, but yeah uh, Alpha was a really good movie though. Oh wait, I forgot forgot to finish saying it now. Yeah I, you know but I forget Serenade though. I only watched the movie once though. 
I think I watched it on demand or something, but sorry, that was my dog without, by the way, just walking around. But yeah, I, but I'll just say that I do enjoy Alpha. It was a really good, really good movie. I, I just said it like three or four times, but yeah, I do like it. But I, I mean, I'm kind of surprised that people don't talk about it though, I don't think, but I, I liked it regardless. But anyway, a sick question. Let's get the third question. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Believe it or not, I have a lot of favorite YouTubers. I I mean, yeah, I know my favorite gamer is probably like Sky Does Minecraft and Markiplier. They're really funny, talented YouTubers in my yeah. Awesome underrated YouTubers in my opinion. I love I actually love them so much though. They're really awesome to me. I mean, they're I don't know, but I'm trying to think. Now, um what else? Goodness gracious. Now, um, oh, oh, yeah, other you favorite YouTubers like listen up, oh, Madar Madar Productions. I I like Madar Productions. I support him for a very very long time. I yeah, I absolutely enjoy his videos. His especially his Lego um his Lego um um comparisons and Lego set reviews though I do like. Oh, another YouTuber I like um. Like Jeremy Johns and Chris Stuckman, my favorite um, movie reviewers. I do like. I don't know. I kind of for Jeremy Johns because I thought he was a really, really funny, awesome reviewer. So, movie reviewer, I would say, or game review. I don't know, but TV show. But um, yeah, I'll yeah. I I I'm pretty sure there's probably four of my favorite YouTubers in my opinion. I don't have just one favorite YouTuber. I'm I'm really sorry. So. Anyway, that's your third question. Let's get your last question. What's your favorite kind of music? That's a good question, actually. I like. I think my favorite kind. If it, if it has to be one, maybe like maybe like the from like the eighties and the nineties, probably because I really love eighties songs a lot, though. Because I I'm really glad I grew up listening to the eighties songs in the back in the two thousands. You know, I remember my, my mother. You know, she had a CD of the Bon Jovi album from 1986 I think it was what slippery I think it was I forget though but but I sort of listen I always have one of those CD players you know but that was really fun to, to use but um but what else I think Bon Jovi is my favorite um 80s rock um singer in the 80s but even, yeah even though my favorite rock band is Nickelback so yeah, I think my favorite kind of song, kind of music is like for like maybe like the eighties, nineties, and the two thousands. Like you know, like from two thousand through two thousand nine. But I mean, two thousand nine was such a really good year for music. You know, like, like we got Battlefield from Jordan Sparks, um, Kings of Le Kings of Lions, Kings of Leons, I think it was. Who sang um, "You Somebody"? That's a really great song, though I will say. Even some of the Carrie Clark Kelly Clarkson songs. I like the Carrie Clarksons. I thought they were, she was an underrated singer, in my opinion. And some other songs from 2009. I mean, this is a really good year. Though. I'm glad it was a lot of good times in, like, in like, the late 2000s. Like, like 2009, I would say. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I like the songs from, like, the early 2010s, though. But, not big of a fan of the songs nowadays, nowadays though. But I'll definitely prefer the ones from, like, the... I, mean, I even like the Sony songs as well. Like, I liked, like, Queen. I like any stuff, you know? Like, I like We Will Rock You. We Are The, Champ we are the Champion. Don't Stop Me Now. Even the one song from... I forgot who sang that song. It was a song called uh, Welcome to Hotel California. Yeah, I like that song. You know what I'm talking about. Welcome to Hotel California. Yeah, that song. But yeah, I'm not gonna listen. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play the song either because I don't want the video to get copyrighted. But you know. But anyway, I. Yeah, all I can say that's. I think my favorite. I think my. I'm being positive right now. Probably like. I think my favorite songs is probably like from like the 80s, 90s, and 2000s though. But. But I mean, I. I mean, if it has to be one, maybe either either 80s or or 90s probably. I don't know. But it don't matter to me though. I just love both. I'm. I'm sorry, but. Yeah, that's all your questions though. Uh, Rachel Destiny, you're you're really awesome, man. I really hope you watch this stuff. And I really hope you answer, see my um hear my hear my answers though. But um, yeah, I don't feel ever see this stuff. But I know there's some other people that are gonna see this. But yeah. Oh, he even he he even agrees my other questions. He said, let's see, 
and I love um, Siberian Husky Stew. Blue is a great, great color. That's all right if you if you can't can't think of a big fa big figure. You know, exactly as bad as pretty bad. Let's see. <coughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, he even yeah. That's that's the questions I answered, and he gave me you know, one thousand subscribers a great goal and hundred. Yeah, that's the questions to answer. Yeah, one hundred thousand subscribers and um, awesome goal for a play button. Yeah. I know, I really hope I'll get, a, I really hope, man, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but I really, if I ever reach, yeah, it, it'll be a huge top goal if I ever reach like 100k subs, you know, but I don't know, we'll just wait to see one day in the future, but anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, that's your question, that's your answers. Um, Right Show Destiny. Let's get to the next person. Another good friend of mine, Kenny, Kenny D. What's up, man? He asked, what's the best character, Balto or Steel? That's an easy one, but definitely Balto. Yep, he's a hero. He's he's a really, or maybe kind, but he's a really friendly char wolf character. But though, but yeah, Steel, yeah. We all know how horrible that Steel was. I mean, he's a really abusive type character, though. And uh, threatful, yeah. I think there's even deleted scenes of the first Balto movie when... Still gets hanged up, gets choked to death in the th off his collar, gets crushed on something. I forget that crushed cold, but but yeah, I got to, I'm kind of glad they didn't put that in the movie. Otherwise, it would have been darker, you know. But but yeah. Anyway, let's get to the next question. Yeah, that, that yeah. Thank you so much for the question, um, KD. That's your answer. And we got the next person, Goosebumps, uh, Goosebumps X uh, Files fan. Yeah, what's up, man? Um, he, he's got two questions. Number one, opinion on the John Wicks films. Oh, man, I'll say the John Wicks films. There are badass, in my opinion. I love the John Wicks movies. Yeah, I love the first one. The second one was awesome. The third one was great. It was awesome as well. But I still haven't seen the fourth one yet. I'll have to see the fourth one at some point. I, I got to see the I got to watch the I check out the fourth one, though. But yeah, that's the only John Wick film I haven't seen, though. I know the fifth one's going to be the last one, because I, I looked it up. Yeah, I know the fifth one's going to be the last one, though. Uh, the, the last John Wick movie. So, um, yeah, I don't I don't think I see anything wrong with the John Wick movies, though. I don't think, though. But I think they're all badass movies, though. Especially Keanu Reeves. He's really awesome. Awesome character. Um, actually, he plays John Wick himself, so... <laughs> But, um, yeah, um, I think, I think my favorite, uh, Keanu Reeves film, it was Matrix, who played Neo from the trilogy, but, yeah, the new one, which was Resurrections, I do not like, so, but, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, I even loved his movies, like, the Bill and Ted movies, yeah, I love those movies, too. Excuse me. Yeah, a, a lot better than Knock Knock, yeah, I, I, gosh, I freaking hated that movie, Knock Knock. Those freaking girls. Ah, stupid. Anyway, sorry about the background noise. So. Oh, he also um, asked uh, um, a second question. Yeah, a second question. He he asked, uh, do, do you, excuse me, do you like the Goonies? Yeah, I like, I enjoyed the Goonies. It was a, it was a classic. It was a really fun adventure film. Yep. <laughs> Especially, you know, you know, with the kids, you know, discovered, uh, discovered the, um, yeah, you know, the pirate map, you know, but, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the Goonies. It was a, it was a classic. Yeah, I like the, I like, I, I like the Goonies. And last but not least, is the last person, um, who's on, who's on the Q and A, who's a, a great subscriber of mine, James Moss. Hey man. Let's see. He asked, what Marvel, see, yeah, what Marvel superhero, um, superhero should, should be in the MCU movie. Hmm. I'm not sure actually. How to how to think. Oh yeah, I know there I know there's gonna be a next um I know there's gonna be some Marvel movies that's coming out next year. Um I'm trying to think here. Is that or maybe or maybe there's an actor that should be in the I I a different kind of MCU movie or something. I don't know if it's gonna be a a good example. I'm I know there's gonna be a, a a third Deadpool movie that's coming out next year though. I yeah, my mom and I love the Deadpool movies, the first two. 
at the first one. I'm surprised I don't have the second one. I'll have to get the second one one day. But but yeah, I enjoyed. This. Yeah, I'm. I, but yeah, I know the third um, Deadpool movie is the third one's coming out next year though. But I know the new Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse is coming. Yeah, it's coming out next year as well. So I don't know who would. I don't know who should you know should be in the the, the MCU movie. Let me take a guess. I hope. I know that James Franco was who played Harry Osborn in the, in the um, Spy uh, in the same same Raimi Spider Man trilogy though. But I feel like I feel like um, I know I feel like um James Franco should should be in a his own superhero movie because I feel like he deserved his own superhero movie though because I like he did such a really good job playing Harry o Harry Osborn from the um, from the same Raimi's Spider Man movie. Yeah, he did such a really good job. Perfect job, though. But I don't think it will be, unfortunately, though. But I, I, I would have loved to see his. I mean, I would have loved to see him as an as an uh, as a type of superhero um, MCU movie because I love James Franco. That's the only thing I would guess he should be in the another one. But but it's not gonna happen though, because you know, because I know there's there's some other Marvel films that's coming out in the next next year or so, but. But yeah, I'm. That's my. That was my guess about it, though. But I'm not good at that guy. That kind of question. I'm. I'm not, I'm not good at guessing which kind of which actor who she should be in is should be in their own superhero movie, whether it's from DC or Marvel or you know MCU, whatever. But. But yeah, I know. But anyway, that's that's the only thing I can tell you though. But I know that Deadpool three and the new Spider Man Beyond the Spider Verse is coming out next year. Oh, and. Madam Madam Web is coming out next year as well. So, yep. So yeah, that's your answer, um, James Moss. I hope that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good though. And yeah, that's, there you have it. That's that's all the answers on this video. It's Q and A video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Now, see you guys next time. Peace.